Hi there, so it's a Sunday afternoon and we're in lockdown. Uh, my toilet's decided to uh, to break. Uh, as you can see here, the flush mechanism is just sticking and that's causing the water just to constantly run into the pan. So the way to fix that is just to replace the whole flush mechanism. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly that, how to replace the flush mechanism in your toilet system. One tip I would give you, uh, if you're doing a plumbing job or any other job for that matter, these little memory foam mats just so much more comfortable to kneel on that than the hard tile floor. So the first job is to find the isolating valve. Uh, here is the isolating valve on mine. If you haven't got a specific isolating valve going into your toilet, then you'll have to turn the whole water off. Uh, so the isolating valve here, they put the valve uh, screw turn facing inwards to the toilet to make that extra difficult. So I'm gonna to have to get a little, little stubby screwdriver on that to uh, turn the valve. So once you've got the water turned off, just flush the toilet. And as you can see there, the water's turned off so it's not refilling. So the next job is we'll undo these screws. So returning screws out. We now need to take the uh, nut and bolt off that holds the system to the pan. So going under the toilet to move the system from the pan, we need to uh, undo those butterfly nuts. So if you're doing it like me, stretching around the toilet going, sticking your hand up, it feels like you're turning them clockwise, but not really, it's anti-clockwise if, if you were the other way up. And, uh, and there you go, off that comes. So the last job before we lift the system off the pan itself is um, to disconnect the water supply. I'm just going to disconnect it there on the isolating valve. You could do it over there where the uh, the water goes into the pan, if you can see it, or, or anywhere you like really. Right, so now I'm ready to pull the system off. Uh, everything's disconnected. I've got another one of these uh, memory foam mats where I just put on the, uh, the toilet seat there to give me a nice... Uh, Nice workbench. Uh, once you have got your system off, and it's tricky to do this with a phone, is last little bit of water in the system, just pour into the pan itself, just get rid of it. So remove the old flush valve, a uh, big pair of water pliers should help you remove that um, giant lock nut there. And then just a bit of a pull on there, and the old unit should come out. Um, you may want to take a note that this is set to 5 litres and to 1 litre. So when you're setting up your new flush valve, it's a 5 and 1 system that this has been working on. And once you've got the system off, make sure you have a good clean around here. A good clean around here. So that seals nicely next time. And no matter how good your donut looks, always throw that away and use a new one because if you don't, that will leak. So here's my new parts ready to go in. Uh, I'm doing this flush valve. Um, now I've deliberately used one with a uh, cord on it. You'll often see these in hidden systems. Uh, it's just I didn't want to faff around with creating rods to size. Uh, I thought oh, if I make a mistake with that, then I might have to buy a new, uh, a new valve and I didn't want to do that. Uh, so the old system came out with uh, 5 litres on full, which that's now set to. And it was 1 litre, but I'm not sure if that's enough, so I've set it to 2 litres. So obviously remove the lock nut, and then that just slots straight into the hole of your system. Now I nearly got caught out there. It's um, I've got a 60 mil hole in my system. So I do need to replace the sort of rubber washer on the valve with this 60 mil converter. So remember it's ringside down, new one back on. That's all the way down and then system into your hole and that should sit in there nice and square. And the lock nut screwed back on. And once that's finger tight, you might want to use your water pliers just to give that a little nip, just to make sure it's nice and tight and well watertight. Then you've got your new dome washer. You can just slot it on there or you can put it on the pan and sod it all through and then you're ready to put the system back on and when the system is ready to go back on we see water hose goes down to the uh, the big hole there 
and you're lining up those bolts with the smaller holes and obviously the big one in the middle. So there's a the system itself just resting there with no fixings for now. Next thing I'll do is reconnect the pan fixings underneath. And reconnect your water supply. You can do that finger tight and then just nip up with a pair of water pliers and a, a large spanner. Reconnected, turn the valve back to the on position and your system should fill with water. And there you go, there's a system filled with water. You'll see, you'll see this little overflow section on the uh, system there, just goes up and down. That wants to be about an inch above your water height. So for me, about there. So screw your uh, system back to the wall. I've let my system fill with water first before screwing it to the wall, just so it sort of settles with the weight of the water in the system. Probably doesn't make a lot of difference, but this is the way I like to do it. So the next job is to fix the button. So I'm just gonna remove all the old button housing from the lid. Again, just get a bit of blue roll, clean that up before you uh, start attaching anything new. Now with the system I'm using, um, you've got a few options in that. You can go straight into the hole, which I'm going to do. Or if the hole was, the size of the hole was a bit of an issue, you, you now also use this mount that it comes with. Uh, but I don't think that's very pretty, so I'm not gonna use that. So simply position the button in the right place and then screw the, the retaining, I don't know what you call that, a washer or a basket, just to hold the button in place. And with your button fixed in place, you simply depress that and it clicks in and there you go. And then finally, just a quick mop and a check for leaks. So you can see, bit of a faff, bit of a wet faff, uh, but nothing too complicated. I hope that was useful for you. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers now, bye bye. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thanks, see you on the next one.